Yo, what's up, y'all? Capsaicin Czar. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Dig Dougie. How you doing tonight, man? You want to see someone play Hydalide for charity? It's true punishment. What's up, Dr. Drunk? How's it going? Blumpkin Bear wants to see some balls. Time for church. You hear the bells ringing. Super butt stuff, brothers. What's up, Kyle? How's it going, man? Repent. Hey, what's up? Big Dick Pie Baker Chris Vaughn. How's it going, dude? Then <laughs> there's Sunday Bass. What's up, Learns Ball? AKA Quizmaster Matt Bovine Bear. You know the corgis are goats? Man, goats are pretty cool too, honestly. I think so. Nikki disagrees. If I had it my way, I'd have a goat. But, you know, probably regret it. <laughs> Can barely handle a dog. All right. Boom, game. Kinda. Boom, face. How's it going, everybody? Super Buster Bros. A Capcom game. That I'd never heard of, really. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I tried to find an instruction manual for this one. Didn't have any luck, so... A lot of this is going to be figured shit out. You played this earlier? Hey, what's up, Sean? How's it going? That's uh, mutated Bub and or Bob. Uh, down at the bottom there. How's it, Sean or, and or Mitch? What's up, dude? Clementine will remember that. So what'd you think of it earlier, uh, Blumpkin Bear? It gets hard when the ceiling opens. It gets hard when the pelvic floor opens. I think it's on... I think it's probably on... Okay, I was about to say... I didn't look at options. I was curious what the difficulty was like. So, is he holding a super scope? <laughs> kind of what it looks like. We'll do normal. I got a lemon for 300 points. Oh, check this out. Okay. So I guess I can shoot more grappling hooks. Think you can cook? I hear grappling hook. You chilling? You finished the movie? In time to hop in? Well, thanks for hopping in, dude. What movie did you see? Okay. Power-ups disappear <laughs> in between levels. Because my uh, grappling hook was slow as fuck. There we go. Freeze! The backgrounds uh, remind me very much of, like, a DOS game or something. Extra, extra time, or did it slow down? I can't tell. What's up, Brooks? How's it going, man? We got a tomato? Oh, well, that just froze everything. Hey, thanks for the cheer. Appreciate it, Sean. My man. Oh, you watched The Lost Boys. Man, The Lost Boys, not a guilty pleasure, dude. Maybe, I mean, no guilt from, no guilt from here. Damn. Those little blocks fucked me up. Oh, cool. Whoa! Shoot the unicorn. Yeah, I uh, need to figure out these power-ups. Because they change things drastically. Um, hello. Hello, monster. Hello, fire boy. I lost my shield. What is this?
for me, wall. Protect me. Oh, God. We're running out of time. I can only shoot one of those at a time. Those look like bombs from Final Fantasy. Oh, hi. I climbed the ladder. Hi. I just realized I climbed the ladder. That's a ladder. Mahjong. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Very good call, Pumpkin Bear. Mahjong indeed. So these balls are like hydras. You kill one and it splits into two. Cool. Um, although I'm kind of pinned. I don't think I can shoot horizontally. Corn! Oh my god. Okay. There we go. We got it this time. No! We missed! Oh, come on. There we go. Got it. Finally. Where does he store all those chains? The world may never know. Yikes. Food times five, it says down there. I don't know what that means. That's a cool sound, man. When you get the shield. Boom. Yikes. I don't have any strategy. If <laughs> that wasn't painfully apparent. Okay, cool. So... When they're frozen, they can't hurt you, it looks like. Hey, what's up, Nintendo head? I got kept... Oh, that's a cool little pause sound. Jam out to that. Gotta go up the ladders. Yeah, I figured that out eventually. A harpoon gun. Every kid in the 90s had a harpoon gun, says Nintendo head. The green balls are reptile spur. Hey, Dennis. Thanks, man. I appreciate the cheer. How are you, dude? You can see and hear me. Can you normally not see and hear me? Watch the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling was rough. Hit the smallest ones first. Is this is Matt Strat? A personal foul. Is this balls 2D? Yes, Kyle. This is balls 2D. Hey, Sean. Thanks for the cheer, man. Appreciate it. The dude that pops up looks just like your old friend, John. That is, um, first time caller, Nate Glines, wearing his Tadpog shirt. Um, he normally, if, if he comes in the stream, it'll probably be later. Uh, he normally pops in late. I'll let him know, uh, that he's got a doppelganger. When I see him, and if I remember, that's also another, ah, it's another factor. Good lord. I think that was my last life. Alright, five continues. Watching the Cubs? Cool, man. Well, good luck. Who are they playing? Ah, the monsters can pop bubbles, too. I do not like that one, man. That's what I want. That spread gun. And dead. I had never played this one before, Nintendo head. It's, um, it's interesting. This was by request of Phil, I believe. Um, at least that's what we're on. We're on the impression that it was Phil's request. Uh, because we've asked him to be on the show. 
talk about it. Fuck. Can we get those two together and they can Freaky Friday swap? <laughs> you do remember you're spending your childhood shooting multiple balls? Yo! Kana, thanks for healing me. I appreciate the host. How are you tonight? I'm popping too many... Popping too many balls, y'all. <laughs> Oh yeah. Whoa. That's the good stuff. This is the gun right here. Yes. Spread gun. It's where it's at. So far, I don't know if there are other guns that I haven't seen yet, but This will let me shoot, I guess. Multiple ones. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, you're having network issues, Dougie? That sucks, dude. Is anybody else having problems? Is it my stream? Or is it, uh, or is it on Dougie's end? That was rough. Oh, God. Well, I made it. The good news is I made it. The bad news is uh, the upgrade was gone. So Blumpkin Bear, what was your um, what were your thoughts on the game? It's weird. I don't think I've really ever played anything like it. It kind of reminds me of Breakout a little bit in a weird way. What's up, Brooks? Who multiplies? multiplies with his balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's how it works, I guess. How are you and all those kids, man? This needs to be the gaming version option of sex and Ready Player One for the sexually awkward, says Sean. Gotta watch over those D20s. What's up, Paul? How's it going, man? We're the Master Pauls in the house. Good, cool, man. I'm glad it's working good for you. Hey, what's up, Chandra? How's it going? You're back to your weekend tradition of watching Davy Poo, Davy Poo play with his balls. That's actually the late. That's the stream after this one. <laughs> it's very. It's only five dollars, but you guys can get in for free. I love the bovine bear, uh, in Padfog Nation. I think it's awesome. I want to see the bear tamer ability. Uh, for those who don't know, probably everyone here knows, but uh, Brooks is actually putting together a um, Fire Pro Wrestling tournament, a CPU tournament uh, for Tadpog Nation, uh, which he is going to uh, commentate, which I think is really cool. If you want in, check out the Tadpog Nation Facebook page, and he's got a he's got a spreadsheet up there. It does kind of have like a Neo Geo feel to it. I know this is an arcade port. Um, the Japanese title, I believe, was Super Pang. Probably not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, but it just feels weird to say Super Pong. Uh, and it was an arcade game. So. I feel like it would have been a great Game Boy type game. Yeah. Yeah, for real. I don't feel like the colors are really, like... So far, they haven't been really important, you know? Um, as far as, like, other than visibility. Alright, they are... Normal speed again. Those tiny balls. Uh, they suck. I think I killed an owl. Uh, which is actually a... Federal offense in Japan. All right, Bub, Bub and Bob have been shot with a de-evolution gun.
The, the Dennis Hopper Gators are out. All right. Oh, it's the lion, the lion tamer. Hey, booty do sandwich Pope Phil. How's it going, man? I haven't, I haven't filled out the spreadsheet yet either, Kyle. I've been traveling a lot recently. Um, and been busy doing like, um, trying to get everything squared away with the motorcycle, uh, which is, which I'm way over my head. I discovered today with that. That's okay. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Kill all these owl bats. All right, Dennis Hopper Gator. Oh shit, they can, they can climb. Why did he blow up? Was it just an accident? No, I guess I can actually shoot him. I just have to like shoot. The very tip of his snooter there. All right, we did it. Hey, what's up, Time Lord Josh? How's it going? This game is kind of like it's. It feels slow paced, but it's also like you don't get a lot of breaks in between stages and stuff like that. It goes like immediately into the next world. Super Bang Bros, Brazzers Edition, says Chandra. Paul and Chandra were super nice. Let me crash at their place this weekend. Um, I went to Nashville uh, intending to see the reading of Jacob's play, Initiative, uh, but totally missed it. But did have an awesome time Friday night seeing um, Bit Brigade and Mad Gear and Daytona on Friday night and then going to Flashback Arcade on Saturday. Flashback's a really fun arcade. Yes, Josh. I like the red lines, too. To let you know you're flying from place to place. It reminds me of uh, Street Fighter, especially because it's a Capcom game. Like, I always I want to hear the announcers saying where we're going. USA. Paying buzz. Uh, I'm on normal difficulty, Phil. Bub and Bob will eat the small. Yeah, I've noticed that the monsters will pop the bubbles, which is nice. Uh, I assume they'll also kill me, though. Phil says, if you shoot them, you can kick them and they'll blow up, taking out everything around with them. There's a level where you have to blow them up to take out balls you can't get to. Hey, what's up, Gert? He says, that's arcade games for you. Uh, I'm drinking a Coke Zero tonight. Uh, keeping it, keeping it, uh, keeping it kid friendly. Uh, I had a beer earlier, which, so no more beer for me. I've actually had a really. Uh, that would, it has been a pretty, it's been a pretty rough day, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so maybe I could use a beer. Istanbul! Mad Gear, yep, Mad Gear. You used to be in a band called Mad Gear? I should have asked them if their lead singer was named Geese. Any chance that uh, it's the same Mad Gear nine, Nintendo head? None of the creatures will kill me, says Phil. Though some of them will make you unable to shoot for like five seconds. That's really good to know. I just assumed they would kill me. Oh, the glass made it look like a dark ale. Yeah, hey, Sean, man, I appreciate the cheer. He says, achievement unlocked, pow, right in the kisser, right to the moon. Kid-friendly mother approved. Bald bum and bald bulls turf now, says Phil. Beer, beer, beer. Yeah, said no one to Tadpog ever. Continue, Chandra. Here comes the fun cooker. What's up, One Stains? Hey, Phil, thanks for the cheer, man. That's fucking awesome of you, dude. 
Oh, y'all were together from 2007 to 2009, and it was an or organic junk food side project? You had one album? Is it on, like, uh, Spotify or anything, by any chance? Yeah, these guys, um... These guys were doing video game covers. Really good ones. Hey! Nobody puts baby in the corner, says Shaw. Thanks for the cheer, man. You're fucking awesome. <laughs> One stains. Damn it. Thanks for the follow. I got killed by the D20, but I appreciate the follow. Kyle's got an achievement. Chivo, bang bros worldwide. Use your spread gun on balls in every continent. Pray and spray. I know, man. The spread the spread gun is pretty great. Huh, okay. Not sure if that was the right idea. Damn it, I got corn and I died. <laughs> All right, we're going after him. Damn it. All right. Phil, how many worlds are there? Have you finished this game? The only cover you recorded was the Mortal Kombat theme. That's awesome. Like, the movie theme, I hope? 40 levels? Yikes. Probably not gonna make that either, but... I was worried it was like 100 or something. Brooks! Thanks for the cheer, man. He says, give them a mouthful, Dave. Yes, the movie theme! Yes, Nintendo head. That's awesome. That's like... That song is like... Unironically a great song. <laughs> and it's also ironically a great song. It works on so many levels. Oops, all Chivos. 40 levels of pain, says Matt. The best you've done on hard is level 37, Phil. That's nice, dude. What's uh, What's the difficulty change? Panic mode is fun. All right, cool. I will give panic mode a try for sure. Let's bust some balls. Says Blumpkin Bear. I got dynamite. Neat. The difficulty changes some of the level designs around, which is cool mechanics as Phil. I would that's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. Istanbul. Right, right, that's how this one works. Great! I've done bad. This is not good. There's lots of little ones. So Phil, what's your? I, we'll get into this on the show, I'm sure, but I'm curious now. What's your What's your history with this game? Like, is this one that you'd play back as a kid, or is it something that you found later in life? Sometimes it'll just add more balls or change how fast they bounce. All right, let's let's get rid of the smaller ones first. Like we were. Uh, okay. Man, they get really tiny and they bounce really low. Uh, and it gets tough. But... I remember the time I accidentally got rid of my spread gun? Panic mode next. And then we'll go back to this. Panic mode is gonna give me the skills. The skills that I need. So this is the worst gun, right? Mm. 
I guess it, I guess it has its uses, but like it, it pops after one. Like it, it disappears after popping one bubble. I see. Okay. I don't know exactly why that alligator uh, blew up. I didn't shoot it. Yeah, the grappling gun sucks. Stage clear. Asia! Wow, you were good at this. Thanks, game. It doesn't feel like it. Bonus stage. Select a ball. S left is the sinister side, so we'll go with left. Receive 5,000 points. I have a feeling I chose poorly. Germany! Oops. Sorry. Sorry, flame guy. Sorry, Final Fantasy bomb. I should actually probably use your help. Yikes. Got myself pushing a corner. There's no excuse for that. You have a fan theory on this game? Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Oh! Capsaicin Czar has a challenge. What is the Amazon? What's the price on Amazon for this game? Uh, Probably high, right? My guess would be high. Because I'd never heard of it, which makes me think that it's rare. Um... Eighty-seven dollars. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's a bad spot to be. The low ceiling. Dig Dougie says three fifty. <laughs> Paul says balls thoroughly licked. Um, oh, you think that, uh, the Dennis Hopper gator ran into the, the cable? You think this game exists in the Futurama universe, Phil? And these are the ball aliens for the episode War is the H word? Oh, man. I like that theory a lot. Hello. Oh, God. Hit him. Help me, bombs! Help me, bombs! Will any of them make it back up here? I hope they will, because it is a shitstorm down there. All right. Now we make our move. All right, hopefully they'll slowly come over here. Maybe we can send this guy over. Bummer. I was hoping we could fire him over to the right. Can I, can we make it through there? Boom, boom. Yeah, I don't think so. Get it. Get him, Gator. Going in. That was not elegant. I don't know what classical piece that is, Gurk. Oh, come on. Uh, I can't fall down the gaps. I did bad. World 16. Almost halfway through. MS Amp Eat Kua. 
Ko, rather, Ben. Chris, you played this game in the arcade? How does it differ? Kyle's got a Chivo that, that his daughters will be proud of. Panic at the disco. Plus 50 flashing balls while in panic mode. Sixteen seventy nine is how much it is. This game is on Amazon. One dollar, Bob. One dollar, Bob. I was like uh, on the prices right when they like lean like when they get the answer they lean like really close to the microphone. One dollar, Bob. Game over, 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 over. When you get to America, the music is a very, very bad rendition of Camp Down Races. Awesome! I can't wait. How much is this game complete? Don't answer if Tyler's watching. My wife. Why has your wife been busting your balls all weekend, Dig Dougie? What options do we have here? I think it's just, yeah. A sound test. Let's find that Camp Town Races. There it is. All right. Well, instead of options, it should just say sound sounds or sound. Panic mode. Test your skills. <clears throat> Dude, the best thing about staying home in the 80s was staying home watching The Price is Right, Bob. <laughs> Seriously, man. I love the prices, right? It was it was like it was the best part of staying home from school. I remember when we had one TV when I was a kid and it was a huge deal to get the TV in my room. So, which would sometimes happen when I was sick. Rarely, but it would sometimes happen when I was sick. I get the TV in my room. So I'm filling up this meter A. And I guess the meter changes the level. When it fills when it fills up, I should be level three soon, which I assume increases the difficulty. Shit. Oh, that was a waste. Or it summons a... No, I was about to say, maybe it spawns a sparkly ball for time freeze. Uh-oh. We got a green ball. Green balls enter the field. Let's get all the tiny ones. Almost all of them. So is all of panic mode just wide open? I like, oh, it changed. I guess it changes when it bounces and hits the ground. Cool. Well, that kind of distracted me a little bit. Are we at Niagara Falls? I wish the backgrounds were animated. It'd be cool to see like someone on a barrel <laughs> going down the falls. Is that Horseshoe Falls? I wonder if the I wonder if the tiny ball will flash for until it's hit. Cause that could be a strategy is to like keep them going. So that you have a bunch in play at the same time. Yeah, let's hit that. Got a little scared there. Bummer. Dude, I miss Bob Barker, too. I don't think Drew Carey sucks, but, like, I miss Bob Barker, for sure. 
But, I mean, that's just, like, that's just childhood. Well, and, like, skinny Drew Carey is weird. <laughs> like, uh, skinny Drew Carey, it feels like there should be more of him. There's more to him, you know? I loved the Drew Carey show growing up. Uh, Kate is was probably like uh, the best looking woman uh, in the world on TV. I can't remember her. I can't remember that her the actress's name. She's also in Scrubs. Didn't look as good in Scrubs. Uh, had some had some surgery going on later on. So it's kind of, the game feels slow, but like it couldn't, it'd be really hard if it was any faster. But it like, I constantly feel like I want it to be like 10% faster. Yeah, Josh says one of the best parts of a sick day. Yeah, totally, Gerg. The Camp Town Race is internalized as being the Foghorn Leghorn song. Yeah, totally. 10.30 a.m., Price is Right. That's the splooge meter, says Blumpkin Bear. You're perfect to aim at those balls one of your trip to Niagara Falls. Don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. I almost heard that as spray. Don't forget to spray and neuter your pets. Channel 16 was a TV Guide channel. I don't remember what our TV Guide channel was. <laughs> Blum compares to Drew Carey seems like he makes snuff films. There's a change.org. There's a petition for Get Drew Fat Again. That's hilarious. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How's it going? All right, no one talking about the prices of this game anymore. <laughs> Your rewatch of Drew Carey got rough. Girk says happy for them, but it's always weird seeing actors, celebrities, whatever, who came into being as being fat, losing the weight. Sure. I never really thought of Drew Carey as fat. I was, I don't know, I'm just husky. <laughs> no, I think it's hard now. It's just, um, I don't know. I just feel like I wanted to be a little faster. Yeah, I think I think Drew's fine. Barker, yeah, it's nostalgia, but I, honestly, I do think like I do think that Bob Barker was better. You beat the world travel mode, damn dog. I don't think I'm gonna. That's not a real change.org oh, bummer. <laughs> Same thing with John Goodman, yeah. John, yeah, John Goodman looks uh, weird to me when he's not a, not a fat dude. It got really rough when she got to North America, I bet. Boom. Well, cool. Since you and Phil are experts on this game, uh, I don't have to worry about beating it. Because I probably won't. I think it's pretty tough. Kyle's, Kyle says, Bob Barker's Bob Barker. Hey, Sean, thanks for the cheer, man. Appreciate it. He said, someone make, someone make a make Drew fat again hat. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would wear. Uh, Kyle says, Bob Barker is made from his dad's balls to host The Price is Right. Fuck. It was fate. Drew just fell into the part. Skinny Zach Galifianakis is odd. I haven't seen skinny uh, skinny Zach Galifianakis. Skinny, um, 
Hold on, sorry. Skinny Jim Norton is the one that really gets me. Cause like, I don't know. I think he looks, I think he looks better with weight on him. But see, it's, it's again, it's kind of like what Girk said. I mean, that's like, when I found out about him, he was heavier. So it's like, that's just kind of how I, in my mind, when I picture him, that's what he looks like with more weight. Chaco Chico wants me to know that I look like Markiplier streaming. Uh, man, if only I looked more like Markiplier streaming, it would be, I'd have millions of people in here. People love that Markiplier fella. <laughs> Uh, because of the, uh, because the acoustic foam, I want to get a green screen. Uh, I just haven't, I just haven't yet. One of the, one of these days, it's not like it's expensive. It's just kind of more just, I don't know, cheapness. <laughs> Every time he shoots upward, do you think of Kid Icarus? I can see that. That makes sense to me. Gear. No. Holes in the ceiling. And we're dead. This game will be easy for a while, then one level will drain 90% of your lives, says Phil. Skinny Jonah Hill? Yeah, totally. I agree with you on that, Plumpkin Bear. That's a weird one for me, too. But today, about to be the most famous streamer ever. Tweet that shit. I doubt it. <laughs> but, well, when I become the most famous streamer ever, I'm going to put on a bunch of weight. <laughs> so the people will be like, man, it's weird. Dave's all fat. Whoops. I shot the ceiling. Yeah, the harpoon sucks, man. Uh, the grappling hook, it's, it's the worst. You like the foam, Sean? Makes me stand out. Well, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that. Sometimes I worry that it makes me look like a douche, honestly. Because it's like, it's not up because I'm trying hard. It's up because this is just bare wall back behind me otherwise. And it echoes and it sounds really bad. Uh, I don't even think it's worth continuing that one. I should probably start over. Hey, what's up, Holy Dumpster Diver? Good to see you again. How are you? You remember this game? This is my first experience with this game. Let's see how much Hell Expert is. That's a good idea. Let's try that. Hell Mode, engaged. Oh, it's fast. <laughs> it's fast. Uh, and the, yeah, the ball patterns are weird as fuck. I don't think, I don't think we're gonna make it past level one. Ugh. I got a lemon. Let's have a lemon party. So when I was saying I wanted to be faster, I didn't mean just the bubbles. I want to move faster too. We haven't done Snake Rattle and Roll. I've played Snake Rattle and Roll. I did a I did a stream back when I was streaming um, five nights a week. I did a Snake Rattle and Roll stream. I got farther than I ever did as a kid. Uh, that's one that I used to play with cousin David a lot. That and uh, Marble Madness we play. Like how there's a food counter at the bottom. Yeah, I know. I don't know what the food counter is about. I don't know if it's like um, 
score multiplier or something. Okay, well, thanks, Matt. Foam walls stay in then, I guess. The only problem, it's it's great for like, it's fine for the retro games um, that have this aspect ratio. It gets a little weird when I'm playing something that's like modern. Um, I think that's really the best use of like a green screen is like, so you don't cover up any game, but like, I don't know, with this aspect ratio, I'm not covering up any game with my dumb face, so uh, I don't worry about it too much. Uh, I'm just always, I don't know, trying to think of ways that I can make things better. You're watching this while on a stakeout? Like a legit stakeout? Or did you just order stakeout? Is stakeout a thing anymore? It's not here in P-Town. We used to have a stakeout. We don't anymore. They're probably all gone, right? It wasn't very good. I remember that. Congrats, says Gurk. Level one clear. We did it! <laughs> Thanks for the input. Thanks for the input on the acoustic foam, y'all. Do appreciate it. I'll stop sweating it. Pop, 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 pop. I'm also... Alright, I need a... I need a try. I'm playing this very, very, very casually because um, it's not really my thing. Ooh, I hate to say it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. It's, it's fun, question mark. This is like, uh, this would have been like a great game to play like instead of going to a high school computer class. I don't know. I think I'd take Bust to Move over this. Uh, and this kind of reminds me of Bust to Move. Uh, I guess it's just because bubbles are involved and you're shooting. Play it drunk is all hell, says Dig Duggy. That's a good idea. Whoa. Level select it. Game select screen. Left, right, right, left, up, down, says Blumpkin Bear. All right. We're probably going to be using that bad boy right there. That was your first experience in Expert as well, Phil. Hey, we made it to World 4. No. No, dude, Kyle, I couldn't even I couldn't even beat Marvel Madness. Yeah, the um the guy who plays the NES for Bit Brigade before the show sat down and like speed ran Marvel Madness. It wasn't a perfect run, but it might as well have been cuz it was impressive as hell. At 100,000 points, you get an extra life? Well, that's nice. Like Captain America and the Avengers, Cap Sazonzari. You loved it as a kid, but you hated it as an adult. Why did you hate it as an adult? No, I got rid of my spread gun. So maybe, after playing Expert, maybe I'll be really good at normal. <laughs> I'm thinking of this mainly because uh, John Turley posted the uh, Rock Lee meme and Tadbog Nation earlier, but maybe it'll be like I'm taking the weights off my ankles. I move super fast. Silk Road! God. Oh, right, there's a game. Double Vision would make it better, says Dig Duggy. This game needs a 3D remaster, says Blumpkin Bear. This would be a pretty decent drunk games done slowly game. Speaking of which, I'll be streaming for drunk games done slowly. Um, if someone would be really super cool and type in exclamation, actually, I think I got it. I don't even know if it's set up or anyone else can do it. There's all the info. I'll be playing Kabuki Quantum Fighter and Kung Fu 
for the World Wildlife Fund on August 23rd, 11 p.m. Central. Uh, if you guys are looking for something to do late on a Thursday night or a Friday morning, depending on your time zone, come hang out. It'll be fun. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna drink as much as I did last time because I will have work the next day. We'll see. I might. I'll, probably what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go in with the intentions of not drinking a lot, and then the spirit will take over me. <laughs> I I am prepared. I will lose my job for charity. Yay, stage clear. Get some illegal substances in this level, says Paul. The Silk Road. <laughs> that is a solid joke. Boom. That is a really good sound. The bubble shield's a great sound. I'm leaving all that there. Oops, nope. Ah! I accidentally picked it up. Did not want. Fuck. <coughs> All right, we're at world six on expert. Expert don't play. Good job, bomb. I think the food, I think the food is a score multiplier. It looks like, because it's like, the score underneath is 560. I need to pay attention to the scoring because it's like, I'm willing to bet you that the, the number of food items that you pick up, yikes, yikes, shit got crazy. Multiplies your score by that many. That many foods. Oh, uh, you hope you're not in Elkhart that night? Although if it's a Thursday, Friday, uh, would be your drive home day anyway, says Kyle. Well, cool, man. I hope you get to hang out. It'd be awesome to see you, dude, for real. Might want to take that Friday as a personal day. I don't think I can. Uh, because our department is pretty, pretty, pretty... <laughs> Pretty bare bones right now. But I might not have an option. You've got Mary Jane in this level. <laughs> Says Love Good Bear. Well, I have no idea what you mean, sir. That dynamite sucks. I could see it being useful if there were a whole bunch of small bubbles, but with them being big boys like that, <clears throat> no good. Come on, give me that shield. Thank you. Yes. No other gun, please. I'll take a hit. I don't want... Damn it! <laughs> Never mind. I picked up picked up the power up without realizing it. So now I gotta deal with the grappling hook. Alright, slow these, slow these balls down. Oh shit. <clears throat> You'll drink for me, Kyle. Thank you. Appreciate it. Matt says wall meat. Yeah, it is. It is wall meat. It was a, a wall shield. It's wall drink. Do we have any homeless man stories coming up? No. I see that dude around town, but he hasn't come to the building anytime recently. Not at work. Wait, who's coming to prom with you? Oh, yes. Excellent. She came to prom with me last year. All right, we got 
We got some cherries. Uh, I would like to get that hourglass, but I'm also kind of afraid to move. Stage clear. You'll be in Elkhart interviewing and hiring the jobs they'll be taking from your friends at work. Yeah, that's... I mean, yeah. <laughs> that is weird. What you need to do is try to find... Try to just hire the bizarro versions of those friends at work. Do I have sticky keys set? You keep hearing beeping? I don't have sticky keys set. Is anyone else hearing beeping? Like, what kind of beeping? I don't even know what sticky keys are. <clears throat> you gotta figure out how to make Mega Woman your date for next year's prom, Kyle. Well, you see her a lot, right? At Bit Brigade concerts. <clears throat> Damn. What's up? What's up, show Fukomachi? I don't know. I fucked that up. How are you? <laughs> What's up, show? This craziness is Super Buster Brothers. Um, it is a Capcom puzzle sh shooter, shooter puzzle game. Uh, we're talking about it on Wednesday's episode, and um, I've never played it, so I figured that I should. But Phil has beaten this game, and apparently Tyler has too. So that's nice. I don't have. To, that means I don't have to. <laughs> I get an out. Uh, and this is expert mode. Um, I didn't do so well on normal, and Blumpkin Bear. Uh, suggested, well, hey, why not expert? So I was like, all right, let's do it. We tried panic mode. Panic mode I thought was actually pretty interesting. Good job on the pronunciation. Is that sarcasm? I feel like it should be. Continue. World 10. We're about a quarter of the way through on expert. That's not great. Not horrible. It's the worst. That stupid grappling hook is the worst. God! I tried to get out of the way. It sucks. You may see them twice next month, Kyle. They'll be in Chicago two Sunday nights. If you're going to Elkhart, you're going to pit stop in Chicago to see them. Well, that'd be fun. I think I left... Um, I did get a Bit Brigade shirt. And I think I left it in Chandra's car. Uh, if it's not there, uh, I lost it. I mean, I lost it regardless. But if it's not in, if it's not in Chandra's car, then I really I super lost it. Istanbul. Ah, that stupid grappling hook. I hate it. I picked it up. I don't know why. I guess I just see things drop, and uh, I rush to pick it up without really, like, paying attention to what it is. And then sometimes that happens, where it's like I just bust a bubble, and uh, it's just right above me, so I pick it up. And I accidentally pick up shit that I don't want to. That, uh, that grappling hook is the STD of Super Buster Bros. Fuck, man. I could have had that if I just pulled to the right a little bit. Oh, no, you'll double check, but you didn't see it in there today? Then it's gone. <laughs> then I don't know where it is. Yeah, to be fair, you didn't know there was supposed to be anything there. Um, yeah, I don't know where it would be otherwise. That's kind of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. We'll go back to normal. 
Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, we need to do a stage select. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so we can see what's up. Good call, Blumpkin Bear. Achievement from Kyle. Wow, that orgy escalated quickly. Get the power up that breaks the two big balls into 100 smaller ones. Is that how orgies work? I've never been to one. Is that how they work? I've never, I've never been invited to one. <laughs> Game end. Some homeless guy is using it as a jizz rag. Well, at least it's... I mean, at least it's getting used, I guess. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. <laughs> What's up, actual Mark? How's it going, man? Good to see you, dude. He's got an achievement. Low-hanging fruit. Think of a masturbation joke-based achievement, but decide it's not good enough to share while typing it ten times. Oh, Chandra found it. Nice. Cool. That's a relief. Um, well, then I, I won't even worry about it. I'm, I'm glad. You guys can either fight over it, or I'll get it from you the next time I see you. Okay, left, right, right, left, up, down at game select. All right. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Maybe the right bumpers instead? Left, right, right, left, up, down. Yep, it's the bumpers. Okay. So how far did I get? I know I got to 10 on expert mode. You have to come back up. You have to come up here to give it to me and record an episode while you're there. Yep. Sounds like it. All right, Cap Station Czar. Dude, thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Good to see you. Have a good night. Kind of the only achievements you can think of are low hanging fruit as well. Okay. That got wild. No, no to expert. I think I'm going to go back to normal. So I can at least see the rest of the game. I got the 16 on normal mode. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll go to, we'll go to 16 on normal mode. So I can see more of this game. Game start. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Try again. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Okay. 16. Thanks for looking out, y'all. Normal. <coughs> Looney Tunes, you'll find them here on Nick. <sighs> right, I can't fall down there. That threw me off last time, too. Yes, the bad owls. Giant candy. That was almost a complete disaster. Pineapple action. My favorite fruit. Pineapple is like simultaneously my favorite fruit and the fruit that goes bad the most often in the house um, because it has to be chopped up. Fuck. <laughs> the very official Tadbog achievement requisition form is probably the most fun requisition form you've ever encountered. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Fuck. You're gonna evolve. You're going to evolve the cheat master Blumpkin Bear. Well, okay. So here's the thing about my cheating policy. I'm obviously not good at this game. Uh, I'm gonna struggle on like the first 16 levels over and over again for the entirety of the stream, and. I'm not really down for that. So I appreciate I appreciate the end game cheat. God. 
he just threw two pineapples away yesterday. It always hurts, man, to throw them away, too, because it's like, well, this fruit wasn't cheap, but uh, it's bad. And I feel like, whoa, DGDS Charity is raiding with a party of four. I get to fight the Corgi. What's up? That's Drunk Games Done Slowly, as I was talking about earlier. Uh, check me out on the 23rd. I'll be playing. Super duper awkward, says DGDS Charity. That was supposed to be much higher. Hey, Captain Wolf, thanks for the host. I'm accepting the healing. It's wonderful. Uh, yeah, I guess I could try this game on easy mode, Phil. Uh, DGDS. Hey, the wee guy. Hey, thanks for the host. Definitely appreciate it. That's super awesome of you. Uh, we were just talking about DGDS. Kyle, I believe it was Kyle, mentioned that this would actually be a good... Hey, first, thanks for the host. Fucking awesome of you. Really appreciate it. Uh, how are y'all doing tonight? We were talking about how this game would make a good game for DGDS. Yes! Hamsh for the host. Thank you, sir. Very super nice of you. Y'all are awesome. Um, please, everybody here. The Wii guy. Thanks for the follow. Always love to see Colossus pop up. Hey, buddy. But this would be, um, yeah, this would be a good game to play drunk. Oh, actually, I think it might have been Dougie's suggestion. <laughs> Yo, we guy. What's up, purse? Welcome to us watching Dave hit balls, says Kyle. Can't believe you hadn't followed yet. I need to make sure that I'm following all y'all. I think that I am. I think because I was in on DGDS 2. And I think I followed everybody there. I need to check up and make sure I've got everybody for DGDS 8. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter is a game I recently m fell madly in love with. Uh, so I'm looking forward to playing that game again. I need to like de rust a little bit. Dez, thanks for the host. Or the host. Thanks for the follow. I've been hosted a bunch. So that rolled off the tongue. Definitely appreciate the follow. I recognize you from Drex's chat. CDN student, thanks for the follow. Definitely appreciate that. All right. Let me catch up on chat a little bit. Uh, for everybody for everybody here who's new, um, hi, I'm Dave. I'm not good at Super Buster Brothers, but that's the game that I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing this game because uh, I'm a co-host of a podcast called Tadpog. And uh, it's Tyler and Dave play old games. And this is the game that we're going to be talking about on Wednesday's episode. So I need to kind of experience it. Although it is kicking my ass. I'm not good at it. Um, it's puzzle games. Uh, they're not really my jam, really. Uh, and that's kind of what it, I, I guess it's not really a puzzle game, but it, it kind of is. I don't know what genre this would be, uh, but I'd, I'd put it somewhere in the puzzle genre. Drunk Kabuki's fight slowly. Well, cool, wee guy. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I'm familiar with you actually um, from YouTube. I, I know I've seen a lot of your a lot of your um, music posts. Fuck. Welcome to church. Uh, so yeah, I'll be playing Kung Fu later on in the night uh, because Kung Fu uh, never ends. <laughs> so, damn it. I wanted to be able to... If I get through Kabuki Quantum Fighter really fast, which is the goal, um, then I can I can play Kung Fu forever. But we'll uh, we'll see. I don't know. It depends on how much I drink. I do have work the next morning, so um, I might not like get super drunk, uh, but I don't know. I also might. <laughs> it's also very much a possibility. You'll defend this game's honor, Phil. Yeah, Phil's going to be joining us for the episode, so. Uh, you'll defend the game's honor. I can just sit back like Doug Benson on Wednesday's show and throw shade at it. Awesome. That will be my plan, then. I don't know, man. This is like... Here's my opinion of this game. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's neat. I would rather be playing Bust a Move. I know I said that earlier, but like, I don't know. It's just the truth. Uh... But it's cool. It's a cool concept for a game. It's just not. Uh, it's just not my. It's just not my thing, really. It 
It's uh, not my preferred genre. And also, it might be better if I like took if I naturally took to it. Like if I got into it and was like, oh, holy shit. I'm really good at this. But that did not happen. I am not a... Oh my god, go away. I'm not a natural. I thought that bubble was going to kill me. Whoa! You Got Marin is now hosting. Thanks for the host. Thanks for the heal. I appreciate it very much. The Drunk Games Done Slowly crew uh, coming in clutch. Again. Again. Check it out. I don't have the I don't have the DGDS panel up in my in my uh, channel yet, but I do have the command. August twenty third, drunk Kabuki quantum fighting and kung fu. Be a lot of fighting. Be a lot of violence. Yikes! Uh, okay, we did it. Yeah. I've got a, I've got the command on a timer too, um, but I also just like entering the I like entering the command. It's fun. It feels like I'm I don't know in in control of something. Sky unicorn, come to me! Damn it! So what are you what are y'all gonna be playing? I know what some of you are going to be playing, but. Um, so, some of the folks in chat may not be familiar with y'all. What are y'all playing at uh, DGDS? Yeah, I'm excited to be back. Uh, it's very cool. I'm glad, uh, Hamsh, I'm glad that you asked me to be involved. Uh, it's very neat. It's a very cool thing. Um, and uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fun. Actual Mark's got achievement, Chivo, doomed relationship. Think and talk about how much you'd rather be playing Bust the Move while playing Super Buster Brothers. Yeah, I unlocked that one for sure. Yeah, the uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, that was that was a rough one because it's like, I didn't know that I was going to be able to do it. I think I took my full, full slot beating Ghosts and Goblins. I think I like started Paperboy and had like two minutes of the stream left. Um, I'm just glad I was able to finish Ghosts and Goblins. I expected to finish it mu much faster than I did, but oops, I got a little drunker than I expected. Turns out that, uh, doesn't do good things for, uh, my, my reflexes and the glitchiness, glitchy randomness of Ghosts and Goblins. Shoot. I messed up real bad. I got this... This grappling hook is like the worst weapon in the game. Actually, maybe not so bad for this level though, because it creates that like vertical barrier, uh, which is really nice here because like the walls kind of have these like natural bottlenecks and stuff. Uh, let's let's destroy this guy first. Way way off. Should have done, should have done that earlier. Cool, wall meat. Thank you, creepy bad owls. Let's get the uh, avocado. Cool. Kyle's got achievement. Super, super butster brother. Be an ass and throw shade on everyone's positive review of Super Buster Brothers. Uh, I may also be unlocking that achievement. Uh, the uh, the deal with for everybody who's uh, not normally in the channel, the the deal with the Chivo command is um, on our podcast we dole out modern day achievements for uh, these retro games that we talk about. So if you and they're typically they're typically jokes. So if you have anything that you'd like to suggest, feel free to use the exclamation Chivo command for that. Hey, what's up? Citizen Ryan. Good to see you. Sorry I missed you come in, dude. Always good to see you, man. The one time you would have been awake for last call, there was none, says Girk. I'm sorry, Girk. Oh god, and I'm dead. Wasn't paying attention. Green green bubbles. Destroyed me. Okay, great. Got a little, uh, got a little ambitious there. I 
I need, I need. The shield kind of sounds like the HBO splash screen noise. Boom. Uh, and I'm also, I'm being a dirty cheater. There's a level select code that I've been using uh, because I'd like to see as much of the game as possible uh, before I talk about it. Yay, we got a, we got a one up. France, were we always in a blimp? I didn't notice that before. Oh, this is like a super short, we're running out of time. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Ah, the spread gun. This is the best thing ever. We actually have a shot now. Oops. We did. Stage clear. We're at world 23, so a little bit over halfway through, according to Phil. He says that there are 40 worlds. This is rough. This is rough. This is gonna, oh man. So many tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles, that's the song, right? That could be an achievement. Damn it. It's no good. All right, I got the HBO water shield. I stopped time, which is good. I stopped time to perfect my rhyme. I still got love for the streets. I want that clock. <laughs> I'm a slave for clock. <laughs> all right, all we have is one little bubble. Good. <laughs> but the same. This now, this is where I choke uh, and die at the very end. Let's leave that bubble trapped in there. I want that shield. Messed up. Messed up real bad. What turned them all into little bubbles? That's what really fucked me over. It had to have been dynamite. I had to pick up dynamite and didn't realize it. Nay! It's me! The Buster Brothers Unicorn! I hope you're enjoying this game. Uh, where did we end up? Where are we? Um, I think we're in France. Pretty sure we're in France. I think they should have used uh, the Street Fighter, like stages from Street Fighter 2, and you like use the same backgrounds and everything. I think that would have been nice. All right, we got the spread gun. That's great. Except I don't want to free those bubbles yet. All right, okay. This is good. We are in good shape. We can't destroy those blocks up there? That's weird. Okay, cool. Spread gun is where it is at. Go to the tower bridge. Hey, it's a milkshake. So I guess like the food power ups are reminiscent of like bubble bobble. Plus that Dennis Hopper alligator does look like bub. Feral bub. Rabbit bub. 
Is there reptile rabies? Is that like a... That's probably not a thing, right? That sounds, that's terrifying. Or there's just... I, there is. It's just called poison. It's just called venom. I got dynamite. That's not good. I need a bubble shield. That's chaos down there. That is absolute chaos. Go, Dennis Hopper Gator. Eat him up. Eat him up, yum yum. Oh, please, keep sending them. Oh, y'all are the best. Uh, I think there is a Russia level, isn't there? You were gonna do, I punched a bear in the balls, defeat the Russia level. Name entry. Hey, what level was that? Did y'all happen to notice? Zug. Hey, we're fifth place. Uh, I am going to BRB. I need to turn the ceiling fan on. So uh, it is not going to be long at all that I'm going to be gone. BRB, BRB, BRB. All right, hopefully it'll get significantly cooler in this room. Wow, it got hot. If there is one, you'll put it on the dock. Sweet, Kyle, thank you. Matt says, that'd be funny if the food made the kid grow like Mario does, but instead the kid becomes morbidly obese. So it's kind of like uh, Sonic XL. Or Sonic 2 XL. Reptile Rabies, says Ryan. Killer punk band name. Hell yeah. Oh god, what's the code? Let's see, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Let's see. Plumpkin Bear hit me up with that a while back. Alright. Left, right, right, left, up, down. We were probably on like level... I know we were more than halfway through. But how, how far? The Capcom code, what's the Capcom code? You remember me playing Sonic 2 XL for the stream? Yeah, man, that was fun for like a couple minutes, uh, especially right, right after playing Sonic 2, it was fun because it was like, oh God, this is uh, impossible mode. I remember feeling very accomplished beating a level. Yes, you're 40 and you just OMG'd. That's, a, that's cool, man. I am I OMG as well, dude. Um, and I use emojis now, which is a thing I never, ever thought that I would do. But I kind of fell in love with them. Let's see, I'm scrubbing back in the video to see where, where our last level was. Our last level was... World 25. So we need to go back to 25. Hey, I guessed it. All right. Tour mode. Normal. Oh, you're referring to the code I just put in. About to say, man, I don't, I didn't know that Capcom had like a, a famous code like Konami did. But yeah, absolutely, gotta get on this level select. Otherwise, we're not gonna make it to World 40. Same for you, Kyle. You have emojis on your Skype for business, so you use them a lot now. Well, it's like, what's happened is like a lot of younger people <laughs> that at work use them in our office chat. So it's like, oh, okay. All right, if this is something, if this is like, Something that is can be done in a professional setting. I'm good with it. 
And I get them in emails too, like from clients and stuff. So it's like, oh, all right. This is like fine. You say Konami code would be a Chivo here for getting the spread gun? Dude, I'd kill for a spread gun right now. I think it'd be very effective in this level. What's the best place to stand? Positioning is killing me on this. Positioning is killing me and I'm busting too many bubbles. I'm bursting too many bubbles. This is probably... Yeah. Cool. That's probably the best spot. Better than where I was. Because, like, those low ceilings are a killer. Go, Dennis Hopper Gators. Go. Do it. Eat them bubbles. All right, sweet. I love those guys, as it turns out. They used to be my enemy. Now they're my, now they're my friend. Damn it. <laughs> Dead immediately. All right, come on. Come on down. Fuck. <laughs> Imagine a code that puts the Mega Man sprite in the game. That'd be awesome. You could play as Mega Man instead of... I don't even know the kids' names. I couldn't find an instruction, ma instruction manual for this game. Boom. I lost my shield. I do not like... This is gonna suck, yeah. As I was picking it up, I was like, maybe I should not pick up the dynamite. It seems like every time I pick up the dynamite, it is, uh, it does not go well. <laughs> you got a profile pic for work on your trip, Kyle? You stopped at the Greenbrier plant, so you snapped the pic. I remember you telling me that. Oh, it turned out well. That's good. All right, we got the bubble. We got the bubble shield. We're staying hydrated. Get him, bomb. Oh, damn, I killed him. I killed my friend. I, I'm curious if the shields stack because I've picked up two shields. I don't think that they do. I'm the Super Buster Bros Unicorn! I bring happiness to all the boys in the world, but not the girls, because you can't play as a girl in this game. Yeah, you told me at the show. I think that's, that's awesome that you were able to do that. I'm really, really, really glad that uh, I got to see Bit Brigade finally. Honestly, like... Bit Brigade was awesome, but like, I really, really, really enjoyed Mad Gear. Like, Mad Gear brought it. I didn't think all of their songs were like, uh, honestly, like, I kind of thought that Super Mario medley was not fantastic. I, it was just a slow jam compared to like everything else that was like bringing it high energy. But um, in general, I thought they were great. Bit Brigade was great as well. I wish I could have seen uh, one of their Castlevania shows. Because it's like... The Legend of Zelda... The music for Legend of Zelda... Like, Zelda music's great, of course. But, like... I think it would be cool to, like, hear the music that is supposed to be playing in a game. You know? Like, while it's going on. And that's how it how it is with Zelda for a bit and it's like I get that Zelda doesn't the let the original Legend of Zelda doesn't have that many songs in it and it would totally get boring if that's all they did was play the appropriate music for the game as it was being played but like 
you don't have that problem in like linear games like Castlevania. Like that's Castlevania would be a great one to see. So hopefully I can catch that sometime. Mad Gear is so good. Yeah, I felt like such a dummy, man, when I've tweeted out that it'd be great to see uh, Mad Gear at Louisville Arcade Expo sometime, and then you talked to them, and you were like, oh, uh, they were there two years in a row. Oh, uh, cool. I guess I was just uh, too drunk to realize that. Yeah, I probably would really like the Mega Man 2 show as well. They stick to the level music there. Cool. I like that, because it's like... That's when, like, I don't want to call it, that's when the concept, like, really, really, really works. It's such a cool idea, you know? Play live, play the stage music live instead of the music from the game. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's a great idea. And they're super talented. I thought they were really entertaining. Uh, there was another band there, uh, the Daytonas. Was that right, Kyle? They were good. I liked them, too. Stage clear, Europe. Wow, you are good at this. Select a ball. Let's do middle this time. 5,000 points. Yeah, Mega Man 2 music is great. For sure. I got boots. Oh, I guess it helps me not slide on the on the ice. I What kind of what kind of ice cream bar is that? What's the what's the chocolate covered chocolate and peanut covered or chocolate and nut covered? Ice cream popsicle. What are those called? I've had them before. I just don't know what they are. It's like a Klondike bar, but with nuts on it. And I'm dead. The Daytona Machines. Thank you, Kyle. All right, we're at World 29. I need to remember that. Uh, because I'm going to be dead soon, I think. And we'll be entering the level select code. Yee! Yee! Let's go down. He said eagerly. Uh, I don't have the boots anymore. The ice is slippery. Cool. The grappling hook might actually be handy in this one. For real. Because I can just kind of like camp this one. Pop up. Shoot it. Go back down the ladder. Which I almost called an elevator. Because it's been that kind of day. It's been really... <laughs> I'm glad that I'm here doing this. This is actually a really nice kind of like this is actually a nice relaxing game. Um, it started out stressful, but I feel like more that I've gotten the hang of it, the more relaxing it is because this has actually been kind of like calming. All right, we got four four little guys. There we go. Okay, so now all I have to do is not die. <laughs> the purple bubbles. <laughs> they are called delicious, says Miss Silent Hill. What's up, Miss Silent Hill? Thanks for joining us. How are you? I agree, they are delicious, but I shouldn't I should know the name. That was 
BS, man. That penguin popped the bubble. And that made... Uh, uh yeah, it's... It's an interesting game. It's interesting for sure. It's probably... It's tough because I've said this a bunch of times. God! I gotta watch that thing down there. Alright, we're at World 29. No one look. I'm totally not cheating. I'm 100% not cheating. Let's see. Where is that cheat code that I'm not going to use? Let's see. Scrolling up, scrolling up. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Alright. Let's do it. Left, right, right, left, up, down. It does sound nice. Yeah, the music is the music is nice for the most part. Although, like, Phil was talking about a very bad rendition of Camp Town Races that's in this game. Which, I need to find a safe spot. Which we did listen to a little bit earlier. Alright. Let's get these first. Whoa, I messed up right there. Yikes! So the dynamite makes everything explode, um, splitting all of the bubbles. That shield would be handy, but what I really need is that guy right there. Really need the harpoon gun. Which I'm pretty sure I just traded out for another power-up, so let's see if we can get another one. There we go. The hourglass. Slow these guys down. Didn't really help me a lot. Kind of wasted it. Ah. This is tough. The ice is really slippery. As it tends to be in video games. Dynamite is a fucking curse, says Phil. It gets much harder later, says Miss Silent Hill. So you're very, you're familiar with this game? I tried a little bit of expert just for funsies. <laughs> Uh, that was rough. I did bad. Kyle's got an achievement. Illegal save state. Use the stage select instead of a nice legal save state option the Super ADS Classic gave you. Yeah, I'm a cheater. Branded for life. Gosh. Yeah, dynamite is a curse. Phil says, sometimes the ice worlds will give you boots as a power-up. Yeah, I got that last level, which was really nice. Uh, but it also kind of spoiled me. Because now I have to, like, deal with this. Alright. We did good by not breaking any of the blocks. On this level I'm standing on right now, so we can contain all of those bubbles on that middle section, which is nice, um, but does not guarantee victory because I have cleared this stage before other than the purple bubble, and that purple bubble totally killed me um, due to lack of, lack of experience. This is, uh, this is my first time playing this game, I'm, so I'm making bad decisions. And I don't even know, I don't even know if this is the, like, the, the best way to do this. It feels really slow doing it this way. Um, but I don't know, if I could just be patient, I feel like it could be safe. Yeah, totally, totally, Miss Silent Hill. Break the ice and shoot through the gaps. Okay, yeah, I'm totally taking, taking tips. I do not want the dynamite. Thanks for the help, Miss Silent Hill. Damn it. We'll get it. Phil says if you're near the top of the stairs, you can shoot up above you without being 
in danger of getting hit. Okay. Help me, penguin. I do like the penguins. <laughs> penguins are cute. I think if Stream Queen Justine were here, she would approve of the penguins. Every time there's a penguin in a video game, I think of her. But... Miss Silent Hill, thanks for the follow. Hey Colossus, I love it when he's when he appears. I don't think I've don't think I've seen you in here before, uh, Miss Silent Hill. My name is Dave. My co-host of a podcast called Tadpog, Tyler and Dave Play Old Games. And uh, we're a couple dirty boys. <laughs> and our next episode is going to be on Super Buster Brothers. Pingu is the best. All right, so Phil says, so clear out the bottom, then stand on the stairs and safely shoot everything in the second row. Okay. Uh, how late am I going to be playing tonight? I'm going to be ending my my normal time. So I'm going to be going for about an hour, 15 more minutes, probably. Thought I could scoot underneath there. Uh, hopefully with, hopefully with cheat codes, the level select code, hopefully I can get through the game. But I don't know, I'm a little worried uh, because both Phil uh, and Miss Silent Hill have said the game gets uh, significantly more difficult. All right. Well, I have my least favorite weapon. Nope, yeah, I don't, I do not like this weapon. That's a good, it's a good tip, although, I didn't notice those guys flanking me. <laughs> Down to uh, bottom right, they came they came up and got me. Something bit me. Shit. Shit. All right, we're continuing. They came from behind. Thank you, Porkins. Love a good Star Wars reference. Even though the Star Wars fandom really makes me sad recently. It's kind of one of those situations where it's like, man, I do still love Star Wars, but I'm actually like embarrassed to like claim like, yeah, I like I'm a Star Wars fan just because of the way that a lot of Star Wars fans have been acting on the internet recently. It's really kind of shitty. Oh, I did bad. Thank you, penguins. Oh, penguins, I love you. Don't cry. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to make you cry. Quit flanking my chain. We did it. We finished that. We finished that world finally. Actual Mark says I have thought of the Ghostbusters theme song every three minutes since you got here. Busting makes me feel good. <laughs> Busting makes me feel neutral. <laughs> Oh, I saw that orange. The orange fell and it scared me. Oh, you thought that was a Warcraft reference. I don't remember that from Warcraft. Is it something that... Yeah. Yeah, the dynamite. <laughs> makes me... Bust it makes me feel neutral. All right, Kyle. Thanks for hanging out, man. Good luck waking those kids up before six. It sounds like a nightmare in an oil change appointment. Good luck with all that, man. It was good seeing you on Friday, dude. Really fun hanging out with you. 
Uh, glad I got to see Bit Brigade with you. Uh, have a good night and have a great morning. I will try to do the same. Oh, I messed up. I think it's from Warcraft 2. The Griffin Riders would say it if you clicked on them a bunch of times. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little ashamed that I didn't know that. Because that was... Warcraft 2 was my jam my freshman year of high school. We need to do an episode on Warcraft 2 sometime. I'd love to play some Warcraft 2. But I don't know, after playing after playing StarCraft with you, Phil, uh, I don't know that I will ever want to play an RTS ever again. <laughs> it really changed the way that I view them. I don't have much time. I've discovered. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, please. No, don't, don't, no. Don't get hit, don't get hit. I got hit. I feel like that was the best shot that I had. And I blew it. That was brute force. It's not over yet, okay. Praise be to Yevon. Yeah, some Warcraft 2 action would be wonderful. I remember we started that chat a long time ago, Phil, with the intentions of playing Warcraft 2. Was that a was that a chili dog? Yeah, this this gun with the time stop, not a good combo. World 31. You think it was an Italian hoagie? Hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans. All right. What was the code? Left something. Left, left, right, left. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Left, right, right, left, up, down, at game selection. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Oh, crap. What stage was that? 30? Almost. Almost. But we know... We know to do this this time. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I thought it was 30 as well. Go to the Wild West. Uh, guys, I got I got an early access version of Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, I'm playing it now. Uh, it's a little different. It's a little different. Still good. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Sloppy Joe, a slop, a sloppy Joe. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, ever since uh, Miller brought up all the, I, what I need to do because Miller brought up, ah, I messed up. Miller brought up all those old Adam Sandler CDs, and we were talking about pixels on the Patreon bonus episode, and it like, what I need to do, I, I still have those CDs. I need to go back and listen to them, and I pro and probably just be embarrassed. <laughs> you're not sure you're anywhere near as good at Warcraft 2 as you are Starcraft 2 Phil you're really good at Starcraft 2 and it's like we weren't even playing against each other we were on the same team and I just felt bad because I was like this I am bad at this game holding us back alright where's the safe spot I need. that's what I need to look for Is there a safe spot? Definitely start. Definitely go to the left. Certainly get the spread gun. Oh, 
come on. World 32. Yeah, it's, um... The game has gotten difficult. <laughs> More difficult. I was already having a tough time with it. So, Camptown Races is almost guaranteed to be stuck in my head the entirety of tomorrow at work. I'm curious what the music was like in the arcade version. Oh, thanks. I needed that, and I need this. A little shield action, that's nice. Kind of remind me of the, the Gungan shields uh, in Phantom Menace, actually. I'm embarrassed to say that that's where my mind immediately goes, but that's what they remind me of, those little wa those bubble water bubble shields. Hey, goat! What is it, old man? <laughs> All the buffoon bits are killer too. The to, to, dollar twenty five pa. Sometime between StarCraft one and StarCraft two, says Phil, is when actions per minute became a thing that was talked about in RTS games. I do not like actions per minute. Like that is not fun for me. It'd be you'd be curious to go back to Warcraft two with actions per minute on the on your mind. I imagine you'd probably do better. Ugh. Yikes. Sandwiched. I do want to continue. There's a safe spot. There has to be, right? Uh, I think the key might be to actually just break them down individually. Focus on one at a time. Come on. Ice. I forgot about ice. That's cool. It's all good. Not super. I got some small bubbles at large. Small bubbles at large. Hey, yo. That was a stupid joke. That's like a Master Splinter funny. Fuck. Come on, man. You're killing me, Ice. You're killing me. It's this part actually kind of the campdown races like with all like the sound effects and stuff makes me think of Earthworm Jim. But like an Earthworm Jim, it would be like their cows mooing, <laughs> people screaming, moo. Was campdown races used? In Earthworm Jim, was that what song was used uh, during the rocket race against Psycho? I can't remember. Damn. It might have been. It might have been Camp, Camp, Camp Town Races. Earthworm Jim rocket race? Yeah, yeah. Where you're racing uh, Psycho. I love that game. I'm kind of embarrassed. Oh, I see. You're typing that in for a search. Thank you, actual Mark. You're on it, man. World 33. Yikes. You like actions per minute, actual Mark? Because RTS has never had enough anxiety for you. You like to feel like you're constantly not doing enough, especially if it's arbitrary. <laughs> exactly. Man, that was a strong start. I blew it! Well. I'm deviating from my strategy. Significantly. But. The opportunity, the opportunity did arise. So, shit. Can I get another shield? Stop time. 
All right, let's pop these two. Oh, yes. Spread gun, please. And thank you. Dynamite won't do anything when there's tiny bubbles. Go to Mayan Ruins. <laughs> yeah, actual mark. Still the wrong, still the wrong window. <laughs> Actions per minute makes your gaming feel like a marriage, Phil. Oh, sorry, Miss Silent Hill. I think uh, I think actual Mark was uh, tr making a joke about accidentally searching for something something else instead of uh, Camp Town Races or Thorpe Jim. Phil, I have that feeling. I have that feeling anyway, as if I'm not doing enough. All right, uh, super haven't figured this one out yet. Maybe I should kill the D20s first. Time to use the cheat code again. I think that was level 35. Left, right, right, left, up, down. I should have that memorized by now. I don't. I don't know if this game has a plot either. Phil and I were talking about that earlier. Uh, I can't... I wasn't able to find an instruction manual for the game online. Uh, I usually like to read those. When I can, but I couldn't find one. Uh, I wanted to... I wanted to know if there was a story to this game. And I wanted to know what all the power-ups did. Uh, before I started playing, but oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Yeah That's okay. It was a nightmare. I expected Ethan and Basil Buster must defeat a worldwide invasion of alien invaders uh, Okay, so is that real? <laughs> Are their names really Ethan and Basil? The Super Buster Brothers Unicorn. <laughs> Riding through the sky to remind you that you're bad at this game. But you do have a spread gun now, which makes you pretty much a deity. A spread gun is truly a wonderful thing. So the unicorn gives you an extra life. Brazil. <laughs> Oops, I hit my head on a D20 and died. Story of my life. Uh, sp spread gun, please. Pang, I believe that's the uh, name of the game. In Japan. Tonight we tonight we feast on unicorn so that we may live forever. Pan G. I don't want I don't want the dynamite. I need to find I need to find some power ups. I need to find some Ah, I missed. I need to find some good stuff. All right. Uh, 
I would have been okay if that little tiny bubble hadn't survived. I probably should have taken care of it first before I started moving on. Alright, kill the tiny bubbles first. Good deal. Okay, cool. Uh, kill this one. Don't make the same mistake I did last time. Alright, you are popped. Extra life. You know what would be really, really cool? Is if uh, when you fire that grappling hook, if you then climb it. I think that would be really neat. Like if you, could, you could use it as a ladder that you create. That'd be cool. Yes. Oh, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> sure would be cool if I could, though. I will take an extra life. Is that a hidden block? Neat. You're not certain, but the Earthworm Jim song that plays during the rocket race may have been made specifically for the game. Andy Asteroids, that's right. And it's right there. I'm going to listen to it for a second. That's right. I love Earthworm Jim, y'all. I know it's like, that's a game that a lot of people don't like, <laughs> but I don't know. And I've got a, it's nostalgia for me, but also, I don't know. I also just really like how weird the game is. Phil says this level fucking sucks. All right, well, with that in mind. Ice cream cone. Pork chop sandwiches. That worked for a while. Uh, going all the way to the left. You're welcome, Actual Mark. Thank you for finding it. I can't believe... Shame on me for thinking that it was... For a second, thinking that it was Camp Town Races. Phil says, safest spots I can find are to the left or right of the middle, but not to the far left or far right. Earthworm Jim is fun, says Matt. Yeah, I like Earthworm Jim a lot. Uh, but nostalgia does totally kick in because I played that a lot as a kid. Alright, so that would be far left that Phil's talking about. I should avoid that. Yeah, this is a rough one. Uh, let me try right. That might also be a thing I can do. This shoot up here. Bummer. How about here? How about we do it from this side? Yee. Yeah. I don't need to break those blocks. I messed up. Because if I break the blocks, um, those big boys can come down. I don't want those big boys to come down. Last continue. I've been rolling through the lives in these later stages for sure. Oh, God. One of them is Big Boy, the other is Andre 3000. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man, I loved Outcast. Outcast was great. Yeah, I need to figure this one out. This is a tough one. That was level 37. 
Let's see. Do I have it figured out? Do I have it memorized? Left, right, right, left, up, down. I do. That's a testament to how not great I am at Super Buster Brothers. Super Buster Bros. Did I say 37? I just said it. Did I say 37 or 35? I don't know why I'm, I'm doubting myself. What's cooler than cool? Ice cold! <laughs> We'll go 37 if I'm wrong. Okay, let's say if I'm wrong, we'll just restart. Or play through. Dang it. I was doing good. Better, I shouldn't say good. I was doing better than I normally do. I was doing better than bad. Now I'm just doing bad again. I gotta come up, I gotta come up with a plan. Uh, cause, oh god, that is not the plan. Okay, don't bust the blocks. Remember that. Try not to bust big boy. Oh man, I messed up. What's up, Drex? How's it going, man? Good to see you, dude. Playing a little, uh, Super Buster Brothers. This is the level that you can't get past on hard mode, Phil. Uh, I don't even want to think about what this is like on hard mode. Drex, have you ever played this game? Bustin' makes me feel neutral. <laughs> yeah, okay. Man, I... I feel like I was doing better when I was over to the left. Yikes, man. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, y'all. I, I did really bad. Actual Mark says a coworker and I, and I organically worked that into a conversation we were having over a distance that required shouting, and it was the closest I will ever, ever feel to another human being. Is what's cooler than what's cooler than cool? That is pretty great. I wish I could have a bonding experience like that with a coworker. Phil. Dude. I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. Drex, I had never heard of this game either. Uh, Phil had recommended it for the show. So, uh, here we are. Playing it. Okay, so definitely get that power up. That came in super handy. I didn't know it existed. Uh, but it is, uh, it's necessary. Also, I can't let those small boys get trapped. I can't get trapped down there with them. Man, that is rough. So I'm having a I'm having a rough time with it, Drex. I've been using a uh, I've been using the level select code uh, because I'd like to see all of the game. I'd like to experience all of the game, and I w would not be able to do it without the code. I have not I have not honed my skills. Oh man, I meant to tell the corns when they were in here earlier. Uh, they turned me on when I was visiting them, they turned me on to a show called uh, Forged in Fire, uh, which I watched a lot of on Hulu today. Entertaining show. It's been a long time since I've seen a, like a competition show like that. Um, and it's been forever. I've never seen a show where it's been about bladesmithing. I did bad. I did a bad thing. I got trapped. All right. <sighs> Man, okay. Um, maybe I need to at some point switch over to the left side. I need a spread gun is what I need. 
Spread gun is the real cheat code. Oh my god, I went through all the continues on that level. Uh, what is it? Left, right, right, left, up, down. That's it. Matt, your brother makes blades? Vasana Bladeworks, amazing artist, cool. Uh, oh, I did World 27. Well, I guess I could go ahead. I guess uh, I'm kind of tempted to play, but at the same time, uh, I want to get back to 30. I want to get back to dying repeatedly on level 37. So we'll do that. So where does your, where is Vasana Blade Works? I don't even, I don't know where you're from, Matt. Game end. Game over. Game start. Left, right, right, left, up, down. 37 this time, Dave. Ah. California. I've never been to California. California. I'd like to, though, sometime. It would be nice. Uh, just to go. I've been to... I haven't been to very many western states. I've been to... New Mexico. And I've been to... Nevada. And that's pretty much it. You live in Minnesota? So who... Did you move away or did he move away? Or did you both move away? Have you seen the show? We Yo, Justine's Ma with the sub. We got one. Thank you very much. That's awesome of you. How are you? You're welcome, Actual Mark. That was actually um, when I was Brandon of Axley fame, who I'm sure you've heard on the show. Um, he had a his girlfriend in high school. She wanted to go to California when she graduated and didn't really have like a plan or anything like that because, um, you know, she was a high schooler and um, he thought that it was a dumb idea because she didn't have a plan. So he would always say California in the wizard style uh, and it kind of just stuck with me forever more than anything else in the wizard, including uh, the power glove. It's so bad. Phil, this level. Phil, this level. This level, Phil. This world, rather. Man, when it gets down, when that one gets down there with me, when it gets trapped down there with me, it's, it is over. It is over. Uh, because it's bouncing so fast and its arc is so short. It, that's the same one that got me. I don't know how to deal with it. Is this a bottleneck here? I think it is. Oh man, I thought I was dead. All right, let's bust one. Yikes. Oh, come on, man. Oh man, how demoralizing. I like what the... Dennis Hopper alligators showed up and everything, and then I feel like that was almost a victory. It was snatched. That victory was snatched away. This is the spot. That's the safe spot. This is the strategy. It took me forever to find it. But that's it.
Eat him up, yum yum. Do it. Do it to it. Dennis Hopper Gators. That's it. That's what I need to do. Good lord. Hey, what's up, Sam? How's it going? He says a little Tadpog Church while on my first break at work tonight. Well, thanks for joining us on your break. Doing good, man. How about you? If I want to shit on this game all episode, Phil, don't hold back. Uh, it's not. It's it's just not my thing. Just because it's not my thing doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game. I think it's interesting. It does honestly, I know I've said this a few times, but it does honestly make me want to play Bust a Move. It reminds me of Bust a Move a lot. And um, I know it's a totally different game mechanic, but there's enough elements that are similar that make me think of it. And I really like that game, so... You get, the, you get the stitches out of your knee tomorrow? Moving around pretty good? That's good. You start physical therapy this week? How are, are you dreading physical therapy? I'm doing okay. Um, it's been a kind of a rough day, but like nothing, nothing super worth complaining about. Just a whole bunch of like minor things. Actual Mark says, Chivo, man in the boat, find the sweet spot in World 37. Uh and also says the amount of entertaining anecdotes that you possess impresses and inspires fear in you. I have I have uh, entertaining anecdotes. That's good. I feel like I'm all out of those. So it's nice to hear that that might not be the case. All right. Phil says this is one of the few levels where the shitty weapon is useful. Ah, the harpoon gun, eh? I see. Oh, I messed up. I did bad. Well, I, I hope the physical therapy goes well. Um, I know it's I know it's tough. I've never gone through physical therapy before, but I've talked to a lot of people who have. Um, I've got a I've got a friend who had a heart attack a couple years ago, and I. The physical therapy he said for that was like the worst part. So what do I, what do I do? Phil says, I just listened to the episode where you gave the Wendy's guy some of my Indian snacks. So you'd have a story to share on the show. Yeah, exactly. Uh, those are the Indian snacks that Kira and Bunny sent me or sent us. Uh, they're really, really cool. That's really nice of them to do that. Okay, I don't know. I'm missing something. Maybe I do need to go down there. No. Yeah, maybe, because I can't get around there. If I go down there... Hold on, let me see if I can just rush over it. Yeah, there we go. Dynamite. Mess me up. Okay, so I do need to drop down there in the box on the right, Phil. Okay. Then, Phil says, shoot the blocks blocking the ladders. Right. Which will allow you to access the other blocks. I gotcha. That part I've figured out. Um, so, I guess I know what to do. I just need to fucking do it. It's a close one. All right, they're moving a little bit slower. So what's interesting is, Phil, I don't know if you've seen the Japanese artwork for um, Super Pang. Uh, it's much better than the artwork in the North American version, where it's like the box art has like the weirdest muscly kid. Like if you look, like they're super '90s kids, which I I get it. I mean, thinking about who this game was marketed to, um, at the time that it happened, like that all makes sense. But it's like 
the art's like really, really off-putting. Because like the kid is like super jack. I didn't learn from a mistake last time. I just died the same as that exact way. The game begs for a jump button. Yeah, it would be nice. All right, so level 38. Left, right, right, left, up, down. All right, normal. I'm running out of room. I'm getting I'm getting afraid uh, to keep moving to the right. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, this gun does work really well on this level. It's like uh, it almost feels like setting up traps or something, which is kind of satisfying. Using those narrow corridors. Okay, now that that's done, man, gosh, I don't want to go in down there. You've never looked at the cover art? 90s kid on the left is, yes, dude, I mean, it's like, yeah, he's, he's jacked. I mean, he's, yeah, I think he's dosing. Is that what you call, is that a steroids thing or is that something else? Damn. Actual Mark says, but then everybody walking by this game on the street is like, kid's got a mechanical harpoon gun. He's just going to take this jumping ability, go home to double his double garage and his 2,500 square foot home. Do you feel like the kids on the cover of this game were rejected for the cover of Tubin? I'm curious if it's the same artist. Could be. Well, fine. We'll start our own game with guns and balls. I haven't played Tubin in a minute. It's been a it's been a while. I think the arcade version, weirdly enough, is the last time I've this is the last version of Tubin that I've played. Yeah. Man, it really stinks dying <laughs> so early on when it's like, this is the part that I've done before, you know? This isn't like the part that I'm worried about. I'm worried about the part where I need to go down that box, you know? That's what I'm super worried about. Phil says it felt like every pizzeria and roller skating rink in the 80s and 90s had a tube and cap. Yeah, it's been, uh, I, tube is something I played later in life. It felt like every like pizza hut that I went to had, um, like a Miss Pac-Man or Galaga or something like that. You know, a good game. Not to say the tube not a good game, but it's no, it's no Miss Pac-Man or Galaga. All right, looks like that little guy is trapped in there for at least a second. Oh, man. That's going to be the hardest damn part is getting in that box and not dying. Oh, you're really only just learning of Tubin, eh? Ugh, I messed up. I got the wrong power up, but we recovered. Phil, what's your strategy for getting into that box and not dying, man? All 
All right. I'm trying to see if there's a pattern. There is. There is a pattern, but it's like, okay. What's the best part to go down? I guess it's when they're about to come back up. Or when they both go up together. Maybe I can sneak down. That wasn't it. There is a point where they go up together, right? Man. Phil says, look, there's a brief moment in their pattern where they both bounce to the right and you got to jump down and start blowing shit up real quick. Okay, that's kind of what I was trying to do. Uh, I just failed. Unfortunately. Failed real bad. These are tough levels. Oh, come on, man. I thought you were going to drop down. You didn't do the thing I expected. That's not fair at all. Okay. All right. So Phil says, just want to review. There's a brief moment in their pattern where they both bounce to the right and you got to jump down and start blowing shit up real quick. All right. Let's see. Let's watch. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know if they ever get on that brick together. Nope, I messed up. Read it wrong. <laughs> That's some Sun Tzu shit. <laughs> The art of busting. Almost. Not really. Not even close. Man, those fruit gushers are fucking merciless. Nice, Gurk. Nice, man. Yes, they do look like gushers. Oh, I messed up real bad. I gave away the good weapon. Although, honestly, this might be the better one to have. Oh, not now, but in that block. I'm not ready. They never get on the brick together, says Phil. After one of them drops off the brick, they bounce. They both bounce under the brick at the same time, and that's when you drop. When they okay, when they're under the brick. So my timing is just has been just way off. I wasted that time freeze. Just like I wasted that life. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. We're using we're using a level select code, so cheaters prosper always. I think that's how that that's how that saying goes, right? No shit, Girk. I was about to ask you if what you thought about this because like I feel like you would be really good at this game. Because I know you are amazing at recognizing identifying and executing based on uh identifying patterns and, and executing based on those patterns. 
I think you'd have a much easier time with this game than me. You had no patience for this game as a kid? So you've totally played it then. Yee. All right, so if I jump down when they're bouncing together underneath the brick, which would be there. That's what I, yes, that's totally, I see it. I see the spot. But it's tough, man, because it's like, when do I start going down? It's two-player co-op in the arcade. You've never played it cooperatively. Um, is there two-player mode in the SNES? I was reading that there was, but it's not co-op. So is it like turn-based? Like, I mean, do you take turns? I mean, it's it's not simultaneous. Multiplayer. Is that how it works or what? Ugh. Okay. I could see that segment actually being where, like, save stating would be, like, really handy. Because it is it is going to take me a lot of tries to get that timing down. You've never seen an option for two-player on the SNES? Yeah, I guess it's not. It's not in options. Was that... That's 38, right? Or 37? It's 30, 38. I need to roll back the, uh, I need to roll back the video. Cause I can't remember. It is, yeah, 38. Yikes. Thank you, Gert. All right, Phil, good luck putting Harold Arthur to bed. Yeah, I'll be done streaming when you get back, probably. I don't know. Um, normally, I'd end in like 20 minutes-ish, but I kind of like to finish the game. I feel like I'm close-ish, but if this is what level 38 is like, I mean, 39 and 40 are probably going to take me, probably would take me hours. This might take me hours. Uh, cause I'm really worried about the timing to get in that box up there. So the safe, safest point to drop down would be... There? All right, Matt says you got this. I don't feel good about it, but thank you for your, your vote of confidence. Phil says 37 and 38 are the worst. 39 and 40 are hard, but not like these two. Okay, that's good to know. 37 and 38 are hard because of how severely limited your mobility is. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like once I get the timing down on this, I'm gonna be able to finish it. It's just a matter of getting to that point because the timing on this is tricky. I made it down safely. Uh, I just think I should have stayed to the left instead of moving to the right. Actual Mark's got a Chivo Edge Lord. Keep going on Super Buster Bros, even though it might take hours before hours because you're so close. It's true. We're super. We're super edging Super Buster Bros. I need to be. I need to stay on that ladder. I think is what I need to do. All right. Uh, here they come down the ladder. Phew, that was rough. Okay. All right, Phil says, yeah, stay to the left. Once you're down there, you'll be safe from the bounce. But it's like, that safety is such a limited amount of time, right? Also, 
this weapon, I need something faster. That's the same damn thing. Is there anything? Is there a power up? Yes. Okay. I feel like this will be better down there. Okay. Wait till they're together. Wait till they're together. If they ever will be again. Is this a different pattern? Oh god, I got antsy. Right. Right, Gurk, so I'm not crazy, right? That was different. Yes? Okay, the, the bouncing pattern is different. That's what I thought. So I'm not insane. That makes me feel better. Yeah, when when I start the board, they're together. And they're together now. Hey, what's up, Paul Pig? How's it going, man? 404 Lord. You've been lurking for a little and that one was totally different. I wonder what changed it. I wonder if it's just a matter of time. Yikes. No, not good, Dave. dead <laughs> oh man okay having a having a rough having a rough go Matt says, hold on, Dave. I think you have to climb the ladder in from the bottom. Watch, I'll see it. I can't. I can't reach it. I believe it's impossible to climb up from the bottom. All right, Justine's mom. Uh, good luck. Good luck with the physical therapy. Uh, I hope it all goes well. Uh, and... Um, Thanks for popping in, and thanks for the resub. That's really super awesome of you. Definitely appreciate it. Say hi to Justine for me, please. Sean says, I can honestly say that in a three-hour span, I have never seen so many balls. This is being entered in the Shauna's Book of World Records. All right. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for hanging out, Justine's mom. Yeah, Matt. It does kind of suck that we cannot enter from the from the bottom. Because that would be really helpful. What weapon do we have? Okay, good. I'm nervous. I should have gone then, but I was a coward. Hey, thanks for the cheer. Woo, it helped. Thanks, Sean, who says so many balls. You helped me. That ladder is there, Matt, for us to exit, I guess. Sean, you're the man. <laughs> My man. All right, we got to do this quick. Matt says when the two balls fall off that ledge, fall in behind them, I think. I think, I think the timing on that was, here, I'm going to grab that. I think the timing on that was I jumped down when they were bouncing back from under that ledge. 
but it was kind of oh god running out of time oh ah can i get the thing i didn't want to get uh, we're gonna run out of time that sucks no no oh so close i don't think i'm gonna get that close again That was, that was such hard work. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Hey, thanks for the cheer, Sean. <laughs> Who says, honestly, at this point, just don't want Dennis to be in the lead. Well, maybe, uh, well, Dennis is watching a Cubs game, so I think you're going to, I think you're going to beat him. I'll be surprised if we see Dennis again tonight. Ah. Boom. Okay, let's try to be safe. Crap. Okay, I, that's fine. I don't think we really need that one. All right, where are bounce, bounce? We were lucky. It had a shield that came in super handy. I wish I remember where I picked that up because that is that was like. Very, very, very important. Sean says, fuck yo, Cubs. I don't really follow baseball, but like Nikki's a St. Louis fan because she's from the area. So by default, I'm a St. Louis fan. Okay. This is rough. Oh my god. Oh, a hamburger and a shield. Woo! Yikes! Goal! Caribbean queen. Oh, I gotta take a I gotta take a short little pause there. Holy god. World 39. You're a Giants fan, Matt? Baseball is literally the most boring thing ever, Sean. Um, I like baseball games in person. I don't. I don't like watching baseball games on TV. You must not watch the soccer, then says Miss Silent Hill. Uh, your town's little league was on ESPN today. That's awesome. That is cool. Okay, don't fall straight down. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. The moment I touched the dynamite, I was like, yeah, it's not a good idea. This music reminds me of like Jaws for the NES. It kind of sort of reminds me of the bonus stage music. Kind of sort of a little bit. Hey, it went up. Freezing time. Yeah. I thought that was going to work out because of freezing time and everything, but yeah, the dynamite once again ugh, messed me up. I went against my better judgment. Picked up some dynamite. Come on, Dave. Focus. Focus on the little baby bubbles first. Yeah, I got it. I totally got it. Uh, because of a shield that I had. The shield totally protected me. Uh, because I didn't get my timing perfect.
You played for nine years? You played baseball for nine years? Man, I loved playing baseball as a kid. I played until I broke my thumb. Um, I broke my thumb at tryouts for the first time ever that it was coach pitch. Uh, because up until then, it was just like, you know, or I'm sorry, not coach pitch. It was a uh, player pitch. Up until then, I was had only played coach pitch baseball, you know, upgraded from, from T-ball to coach pitch. Um, and then at tryouts, at tryouts, um, I broke my, I broke my thumb swinging at a, swinging at a ball, very first pitch and, um, totally just broke my thumb and didn't play baseball ever again. Uh, well, I played for funsies, but not like in a league or anything like that because, uh, this soft boy got real scared of baseballs all of a sudden. Girk says, try falling to the left. Yeah, that's a good idea. I have been exclusively falling to the right. Oh, Paul says, has anyone mentioned Dig Dug on this stream yet? No, because that weapon looks awfully familiar. Yeah, you're right. Man, if you had Pikachu's ability to call down lightning, you'd wreck. Yeah, really? Oh, you played soccer for nine years. Okay. Dynamite there. You played nine years in Little League, Gurk? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be dynamite on either side. Looks like it's symmetrical. Hey, that's good. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to which ones have been giving me the stop time power up. The red ones? That was that time at least. Because that is very, very handy. I wish I didn't have this the worst gun. You know, some some Buster Bros don't even have guns. I should be grateful. Stage clear! It's because of the time stop. You were joking? You can play it five years. Most, I don't know. I was trying to do the math because it's like nine years. I guess if you start it like nine years old, does Little League go up to high school? I don't know where Little League cuts off. Final stage. Uh, I do. I like the music in the this last two stages. All right. What do... Not that. Yikes. Matt, you still play softball? This time drunk in beer leagues. Yeah, I never played. I've never played drunk any, uh, any sport. <laughs> Plenty of video games. Left, right, right, left, up, down. Yeah. I never see the bench warmers either. I've heard of it. I got my hourglass and my clock mixed up. I got really excited because I was like, oh, I can be risky because I'm about to stop time. Not the case. Uh, I'm going to check and see what's in these blocks since I keep dying anyway. What's over here? Ah. Well, that's handy. That's good to know. What's on the right side? Ba -ba. Good. Okay, get that first. And then slowing, slowing time will help me not die getting over here to where I can stop time.
which helped me clear it a little bit, but not enough. But I do think that's probably the strategy, uh, is to go over here first. Get this. Wreck a little shop on my way over. One-ups for days. And then make my way back over to the left and stop time. That's my strategy. That's my plan. That was actually more helpful than the one-ups. All the hourglasses. Damn, I need to like I need to book it. I need to focus less on dealing damage to bubbles and uh, more on actually getting over to the to the time stop. Okay, you thought about it. You, you could feasibly play for six, maybe seven years of Little League. You fall over a lot, says Matt. All right, so Gurk says, in my region anyway, it was two years of T-ball, two years of 89ers. What's that? Two years of minors. Yeah, you're over my head now. And then one year of Babe Ruth. That's, that, that's, the, that's where you're drinking and playing. Eight years of Sandlot. Man, I'm curious if the power-ups are better. Like, I feel like I get better power-ups when I'm rapidly bursting bubbles. Ah, 89ers is age 8 through 9. Okay, that makes sense. Whoever came up with those names is far, far more clever than I am. I'm beginning to question the validity of my, validity of my strategy. There we go. Oh man, I didn't see that little guy sneaking up. Come on, come on, come on, Dave. <clears throat> it's final stage, and it's not even that... It's not even stage 38. There we go. Get him. The dynamite before the time stop probably would have worked out a lot better. But <clears throat> that's okay. Just don't choke. Stage clear! Oh, it counts your leftover continues. That's cool. Congratulations! All clear! Try the other level. I guess they want me to try it on hard. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm curious if there's an ending. It's not going to happen because well, I'm, stream time is almost over. This has almost been three hours. It hasn't really felt like it. Fifth place. Yikes. Okay. I am going to stop the stream. I'm going to try to find somebody who I know and love who is streaming currently. It'd be really neat if I try to do a run without using the level select code, but... I don't feel confident enough in my abilities to do that. I feel like I'd need to play through this a few more times. Even though it's like, the fun of this game was truly just trying to figure out a strategy for the level. Um, but I feel like I had fun doing it this the way I did it because of the level select code. I feel like if I was starting from scratch every time, um, that it might be a little frustrating. But I don't know. But then again... If I was playing this when it came out uh, and I had infinite time or what seemed like it, it might have been a different scenario. Uh, yes, the food is a, is a score multiplier. Uh, I, I, I'm almost positive. I didn't pay super close attention, but I think the food that you collect in a level at the end, uh, like if I collect three foods during that level, it multiplies the score that I get by three. That's my, that's 
Not confirmed, but that's what I assume that it does. Phil probably knows for sure, but I think he's tucking in Harold Arthur. Bubble Bobble has a better ending, says Sean. Uh, you know what? I've never really gotten that ending, unfortunately. I've never gotten the, the, the best ending of Bubble Bobble. We got close. Let's see. Who is streaming? Who am I following? Who I know and love? Who is streaming? Is uh, Coco or Drex streaming? No, but um, Bald Wookie is streaming. Uh, I rated him, I think, two weeks back uh, per Drex's request, and he is playing Gang Beasts. Gang Beast is a blast to play, and it's a lot of fun to watch. I played recent, well, recently ish with um, Ryan of Experience Grind and um, Ben of Street Pizza and uh, Mitch. I believe it was Mitch of uh, Nerdy Thursday. Um, Sean, I don't think you ran on that one. Um, we were all uh, super drunk, so that's probably why I also don't remember. Uh, but yep, we'll raid Bald Wookie. Let's see. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the episode that's coming out on Super Buster Brothers on Wednesday. Uh, I'm curious to see how many people actually download that episode. Because what I've noticed is games that aren't super well-known tend to have lower listens, which makes total sense. Drex, yeah, you were supposed to play Gang Beast for the Drex Cathlon. I remember. I remember that. Um, I was looking forward to... I had I had heard of Gang Beast long before I ever saw any gameplay, so uh, I was looking forward to that. And it was like, it's one of those games where it's like I think it was like twenty bucks or something like that, and I bought it not on sale because three cool people really wanted to play it, and I could hear I was in party chat, like I could hear them playing it and having a lot of fun, and it was like, oh damn it, I'll pay I'll pay full price for this game, I guess. All right, let's see, let's get our raid on. Bald Wookie. Let's do this. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hang out super long because I'm a sleepy boy. I gotta get I gotta get my resty poo for uh for work in the morning. Bummer. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, and thanks for all the the raids tonight. It was amazing from Drunk Games Done Slowly. Please hang out with me August 23rd at 11 o'clock Central PM. I'll be playing Kabuki Quantum Fighter. And uh, Kung Fu, hope to see you there. We're just, we're doing it for charity. Super grateful to be involved again. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Bye. And we will end this stream.